Hello, governor. Hey guys, it's December, if you can believe it, in Wisconsin. Normally I like to take this operation to the range, but uh, the Packers are playing today, so <laughs> I'm going to be running in and out uh, probably for the next three hours. So you might actually see the sun <laughs> setting as this video goes on. I'm going to ring this Benjamin Trail MP out. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to find its favorite pellet. And I have stacks and stacks of different kinds of pellets. This is one of my favorite tools right here. This is the Straight Shooters Pellet Pack. You can get this at straightshooters.com. I think they're out of Minnesota. They were one of the first uh, distributors to put something like this together. And there's, I think, 20, 25 different kinds of pellets. I bought it a long time ago when I was trying to figure out the favorite pellet for my Benjamin Marauder. And I'll take 10 seasoning shots, so to speak, to acclimate the barrel just to try to keep this as sound as possible. My backyard target is about 18 yards, not about, exactly 18 yards from the muzzle of that gun to my target downrange there. I'll be shooting at these nice and cheap gamo targets. Let's get going. Predator polymags. Crossman Premier hollow points. Range Master Lies. Beeman FTS. Tell me that wouldn't make your head spin trying to zero in a scope. It shows potential for the pellet, but it also shows a great chance of frustration for an amateur shooter trying to get his scope zeroed in. Beeman FTS Double Gold. Barracuda Match 21.1. Let's do those fancy FX pellets. Day State Monsters. RWS Super Point. Getting a little muddy here. Sweatshirt came off. I was running back and forth, cocking guns. One of my favorite pellets here. Beeman Kodiak Double Gold. I've never had this shoot horribly out of any gun. First time for everything. That's why we test them. JSB 15.9. Beeman Crow Magnum. Yunjin Wad Cutters, Big Suckers, 20 grain. These are Logan Penetrators, a lead free pellet. Crossman Premier Domes. We're out at the shooting range now. I'm about to head over to the 25 yard range to test the four or five favorite pellets of this gun. But before we get going on that, you may be able to tell that you can hear me a little clearer than in the past. I felt like the crappy microphone on the camera just wasn't cutting it. And a lot of you complained about the noise, and rightly so. Uh, it was lousy, it was bad. So, I went and... What a great test, huh? Did you hear that very well? You shouldn't have if that microphone did its job. So I went and invested in a Rode video mic which is on top of that camera right there. It's a directional microphone, and it should be picking up my voice really well. You could probably now pick up on my British accent. Hello, governor. Should I do the whole video like this? Okay, I'm done. I would kick my own ass if I did that, so you can save yourself the plane ticket. So, let's head in at 25 yards. I'm gonna test out the Crossman Premier, Beeman FTS Gold, the RWS Superdomes, and the 
FX pellets. We give those four a run and uh, see which one comes out on top. <laughs> Let's go. Crossman Premier Domes. Beatman FTS Double Gold. FX Pellets. Logan Penetrators. All right, so um, you saw the groups, and here's our here's our best one, the Crossman Premier Domes. <laughs> no, no big surprises there. In my experience, Crossman guns they like Crossman ammo. They always have shot it well. And I shot actually like three or four more groups with this pellet after this. And this is an average. A couple groups were a little bit better than this. One group was worse than this. Uh, I would call this the average group for that pellet. And that's the great news because Crossman Premier Domes are available just about everywhere you could get this gun. So if you pick this up at you know hardware store, Walmart, Kmart, something like that, there's a good chance that Premier Domes were sitting right next to it probably 500 of them for ten dollars and this is on par with what I thought the gun would do I was hoping for you know half inch three quarter inch groups at 25 yards and a couple weeks ago I put seven shots on a one inch target at 25 yards I was happy with that as well so with the exception of the occasional flyer yeah half inch three quarter inch groups at 25 yards I think is a reasonable expectation of this gun you see some guys claiming they're putting down half inch groups at 50 yards um, I'm not gonna call BS on them but I will say I have there's no way I could achieve that. With this gun and my skills, it wouldn't happen. And that's what I'm trying to show you guys, our accurate representation of an average gun with an average shooter. I may not be an average air gun shooter, but I am an average Springer shooter. So these are the kind of results I think you can expect um, if you're just starting out or if you're just getting your first spring gun. And this gun is absolutely backyard friendly. It thumps thump, when you shoot it. It doesn't crack, it doesn't ping, it thumps. As long as your city ordinances allow it and you got cool neighbors, I see no reason why you can't have a ball plinking with this thing in the backyard. I should note that the trigger on this gun, this is still the stock trigger. I have not yet upgraded this with the GTX trigger. That'll be done in another video coming up. But for all the gripe about the trigger, I really didn't have that big of a problem with it. Tell you what, I'd take this one over the one on my Remington 597. That thing is horrible. The draw is about like this and it's like nine or 12 pounds of pull miserable trigger I'm rambling now you get a lot for 200 bucks with this gun especially because it bundles with the scope Picatinny rail cocks nice and smooth even has a wood stock I mean there's a lot to like about this you can't go getting this expecting to make the same shots I make with my two thousand dollar PCP guns so level your expectations and I'll tell you what you get good shooting this you'll blow the doors off someone when you get a PCP in your hands I didn't own one of them expensive guns till I was in my mid 30s uh, for 25 30 years I shot guns just like this I learned how to shoot with hundred dollar guns my 22 cost uh, 55 dollars it was a Marlin 60 so don't get thinking that you got to have a gun that's as expensive as mine to get into this Get this or some other kind of spring-powered air rifle. Or if you can't afford the 200 bucks, get a variable pump pneumatic for 60 bucks. Just get in the game. Get something in your hands and get shooting. As always, I appreciate you watching, and I will see you at my next video. I probably won't even include it in the video. But then, if I didn't include it in the video, I wouldn't be talking about this. I just blew my own mind.